recording? Yes, yes. What's going on, my beautiful people? This is JD back with another JD Reviews. I do apologize. I've been gone for so long. Um, I've just been working on some personal things and getting some stuff taken care of. But I do have a uh, powerful review today. Um, and I just share my story. Uh, today's review is going to be about a company called American Acceptance Credit. Um, they are a company that does um, vehicle loans to uh, individuals with low credit. Um, me, currently, I'm trying to rebuild my credit. So I took a loan with them to ha get a vehicle back in October of last year, 2022. And things were going pretty good. Things were going well. Um, around the holiday season, work got slow. Um, so I fell behind, uh, probably about a month behind. And I went out to my car. Well, let me, let me rewind back. I scheduled a payment um, for the company. And I had switched my, I had moved money from one account to the other. And the account, the money didn't fall in there in time. I didn't know the car was up for repossession. You know, like I said, I wasn't behind but for a month. And I had came out one day and the car was gone. I thought my brother had moved it to the other side um, of the neighborhood. But I kept chirping, kept chirping, kept chirping, and it wasn't making no sounds. So I said, okay. I went and called them and said, yeah, we came and got your car at, 8, at 7.30 this morning. I said, wow. But I believe, yeah, 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 I had let him drive it that night before. And um, so I, I said, okay, well, well, what can I do to get it back? He said, well, you have a balance sheet you have to pay to get caught up. Which, like I said, I was only behind a month, but they wanted me to catch up two months in advance. So this is my first repossession. I went ahead and paid it. And uh, uh, as I was making payments on the car, um, they tacked on a, an additional fee, which they said is a $235 key fee. And I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, if y'all needed a key, I got three of them. Why didn't you just, just ask me for a key? I could have given you the key. But I guess, you know, since it being a repossession, you know, they've had customers where they don't want to give the key, they don't want to give the car back, da, 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 whatever. So I ended up paying about a total of $2,100 just to get the car back. Um, I have finally pay, paid the balance off and come to find out that the car was sold last week and they didn't tell me. So they got an additional $800 from me that I really I really didn't have to pay. They, had, they, had, they sold the car, but they didn't tell me the car was sold. So, you know, I, I couldn't yell, I couldn't get mad. That's, you know, it's on me. It's, it's my fault for taking this loan out with such a company as this. Credit, American Acceptance Credit. Um, if you go look up their reviews, they have literally 1.3 stars. They, are, they do have a terrible company. Customer service with the company. Sometimes I call the customer service uh, number. Sometimes I get somebody that was really nasty, somebody starts you. I'd hang up, call back five minutes later, then I get somebody pleasant and nice. But then they'd be pleasant and nice, but wouldn't tell me what was going on with the vehicle. And then I call back again and make another payment. And then there'd be somebody that, that'll really give me um, the information that I needed. So it was re it's a really confusing company. It's a really confusing company. Um, one lady was, was letting me know the information. Because when a car originally got repossessed, somebody was really nasty. No, you're not going to get the car back. We're going to go ahead and sell it. We're going to go ahead and put it on an auction block. And da 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 So I was a little distraught. Hung up. Call back the next day. This is before, this is probably back maybe like the middle, latter part of March of this year. And the lady said, look, as long as you make a payment, we're going to hold the vehicle for you. She said, they can't sell it look, as long as you make a payment. And she said, we can set up some payment, we can set up payment plans. I mean, she just, she laid, I, 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 I hate that I forgot her name, but she laid out like a roadmap just to genuinely help me out. And I wish I could give her a shout out in this video because she was very helpful. 
but it was like, almost like one of those things where um, I ain't supposed to really be telling you this, but I'm going to tell you this anyway because I want to help you out, you know? And I I paid. I paid the money. Like I said, the last two payments I didn't even have to make because they had sold the vehicle already, and then I didn't even know. So it is today I made the last payment on the vehicle, and I called her. When I called, I said, okay, now that I made the last payment, well, how? what's the process of getting the vehicle back? She said, oh, the vehicle's been sold. I said, ma'am, I didn't, why didn't anyone tell me that? Oh, it will be in the letter. We will mail it to you. Well, why didn't y'all email it to me? So, overall, my experience with this company is very terrible. Very terrible. I've never been treated like this before. Um, I have, I had, an, I had a car loan out with another um, lender, and they really worked with me. Um, with things slowing down because I'm I'm not naturally a courier. That's what I do. But, you know, when things slow down, it came to either paying the rent or paying the car note. I would rather have a roof over my head than to pay the car note. So, I, if um, if you get approved with this company, American Credit Acceptance Company, American Credit Acceptance, I would, I would not decline it. I mean, I would not take it. I, I would definitely go with another company. And if you can't get approved for another company, then most definitely check out auctions. Um, with things getting more expensive, rent, um, utilities, food, insurance. I never paid so much money on a used car in my life. Insurance I paid on that car, they, they charged me $168 a month. just for, And then it was a 2011. So I didn't, I, don't, I didn't see why I had to have full coverage on a 2011. Um, I thought, well, laws might have, must have changed. I believe that I had a 2013 before, but the transmission went out. I thought that since if you had a 2013, you had to have full coverage on that. This one was a 2011 Camry. So they, I had to have full coverage on it because of the, um, I guess the loan that I had on it. But, and I, I know uh, getting a vehicle from the auction, you know, it could come with hidden repairs. I do plan on taking to an inspection place and getting it inspected. But with where we're at, with things getting so much more expensive, I would much rather take me three, six months, put up, put away three, uh, uh, $5,000, maybe take half a Maybe take three thousand and go get a car from an auction, um, and then just in case I need to put make repairs on, I have a little change left. Then to finance another vehicle anymore, and then my interest rate was almost double on the first one. Um, like I said, American Credit Acceptance was for individuals with subpar credit and ones that are rebuilding their credit. I fell into that category, so instead of the instead of the uh, decent interest rates that I was looking for on a car loan of uh, anywhere from 8 to eight to 12 percent. That's the ones that I had. That's right around the area I had on my first one. They gave me an interest rate of 28 percent, more than double what I was used to. And individuals with subpar credit, that's a, that's a very terrible, terrible way. But at the time, you know, I had a plan. I needed the vehicle to get to and from work. Um, and I, after this, I, w I will not get no more. I won't go the route of financing another vehicle ever again. Um, it's just, it, this company has just left a very nasty taste in my mouth concerning the vehicle. I got behind 30 days. Well, I, I say 45. And I was just about to make a, make a payment that week when they took it. And when they took the vehicle, I didn't have a way to make the money to pay, to make the payment. So instead of paying that, like I said, I, I'd rather I paid my rent and paid my car insurance thinking, hey, I have a car back next week. No. Mm -mm. So that's my review on American Credit Acceptance uh, Company. I would give them a negative seven stars. Uh, the customer service was terrible. They don't work with you. The interest rates are 
outrageously high. They gave me a 28% uh, interest rate, which is crazy high. And um, if you ever get accepted for or approved for a car loan with this company, do not, do not accept it. You can go to an auction, have get you five thousand dollars, or save save up five thousand dollars. Go to an auction, get you get a decent vehicle, take it to um, a quick mechanic shop or the dealership of that vehicle, and have them do an overlook of the vehicle to see what issues you might need to address. Um, but no more financing after this, and then it's um, it, it's cheaper as well. Because you don't owe anybody. Think about it. You go to auction, get a vehicle. You don't owe anything. Just get the car repaired back in good shape. Or if or you might look up and get a, a vehicle that's in good shape. Make sure it runs. Run the AC. Um, see how. See if it needs to be cleaned. See if it has had any flood damage or anything like that. You know, I would. I would rather pay five thousand dollars have a car. I, you know, I gotta, I gotta make repairs on it, but it lasts me for ten years, right? Within that ten year time, I can, I more than remake that money, as opposed to taking six years paying the, four, paying the, uh, let's see, because I know the car payments these days are high, paying a five to six hundred dollars a month, a week, because I know my friend said that she got approved for a vehicle. But her car payment on a brand new 2023 was like $700 a month for what she wanted. Um, this was a used vehicle, and I was paying about I was paying $428 a month on this used vehicle, and it's over 10 years old. Had a little over 100,000 miles, 115,000 miles on the vehicle. But I paid them $428 a month on top of the insurance, on top of the maintenance and gas. Get one from the auction. Five thousand dollars out the door. You know, before you purchase it, see if they have a key. See if you can turn it on. Look at the inside. Sit on. Sit inside the car. Um, hopefully, it doesn't have like an odor or anything to it. But it's just really you're really hunting for what you want at an auction. And nine times out of ten, well, I say seven times out of ten, more than likely you find what you're looking for. But if it might need some work done to it, but I think if the if the work is minimal, that far outweighs going through the um, issue of running your credit, going through the issue of a down payment, uh, going through the issue of you know praying, hoping, and wishing that your um, loan would get approved by the, the dealership. Um, it, it, it beats it. Like I say, I pay. I go to an auction. I've been looking at some vehicles. I'm looking to go there with about three thousand. That'll probably get me a decent. That'll probably get me a decent vehicle. Then I have a little extra on the side in case I have to uh, get something repaired on the vehicle. Um, and then you know I have wheels gear. I don't have. I'm not tied to it. Uh, for some odd reason, when I signed that that. Um, loan the paperwork with American credit acceptance. It was like it was like a weight on, you know? It was it was really like an, another another weight on because that car was was costing me six hundred dollars a month, which I could I could afford it at the time. I got um slowed down with work. But it's just like it, the company just wouldn't wouldn't work with me. Got behind forty five days, they came and took the car. And then on top of it, they, they, you know, these companies, they charge fees on top of fees and they know people are having it rough. So I just, I, I wouldn't, I would run. If they contact you, run, block the number, run. If you, uh, if you do an approval, they're searching, you know, you're searching your credit to be approved and they approve you. No, don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Car was a beautiful Toyota Camry, old color. But um, just hindsight going forward, man. Work with what you have. Um, like I said, I would go to an auction, get your get a vehicle, 
have you about fifteen hundred dollars set aside. Uh, don't get don't don't spend any more than three thousand. Like I said, yeah, don't don't spend no more than three thousand. Have you fifteen hundred dollars set aside for the vehicle in case it needs repairs after you purchase it, or plan to take it to the dealership if you get a Chevy, take it to Chevrolet. If you get a Ford, take it to Ford. If you get a a Honda, take it to Honda. Let them, you know, look over the vehicle. Um, let them tell you what what's wrong with it, and then you go from there. That's just the most cost of cost effective way to do it. Because I believe, the, not believe, but I know the older I, I get, I don't need to spend all this money on extra stuff. If I'm trying to finance another vehicle, you know, I just need to, you know, I need to focus on building money and learning to how to allocate my money into investments and things like that. That's just where me, personally, I am at. So that's, uh, I apologize. I got a little off. Um off track, but I just wanted to express everything that was on my mind concerning the incident that happened. Um, and we'll just, I will see, I will update you guys on what's what's going to happen next. I'm currently in the process now of looking for uh, my next vehicle at an auction. And I'm going to, um, I'll probably bring you guys along, along, make some videos about it while I'm at the auction, auction places. Um, just to show you guys what I see, what I find. So this is JD with another quick JD Reviews. I apologize, this video is a little bit longer. Um, I just wanted to make sure I expressed everything to you guys. Thank you so much for the uh, over 200 subscribers also. You guys are awesome. I didn't think just being honest and telling my side of things would uh, impact or help give somebody else a, a voice or something else they could relate, someone else they could relate to. Um, thank you guys once again for the subscripts for the subscribe subscriptions. If you guys um, could just like the video, comment below, let me know what else you want to see, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It will definitely help, and I will um, definitely be back with some more uh, reviews as we go along. Thank you guys so much once again. I'm very grateful. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.